Alright guys, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. Uh, let's go fucking get ambushed by a statue. The void is strong here. Even the stone is infected. Well, I guess there's nothing really to that, is there? Your source infused? Oh, yeah. Umbra totem stolen. Hmm. <laughs> stolen. Here, have some hair. Actually, I don't even. I pretty, oh, yeah, beast is for crafting, right? Whoops. Doesn't really matter too much as long as you get over encumbered. Explosive arrowhead, starless herb. Okay, you can probably break that down. There's an ichor stained letter on this guy. Uh, okay. I guess I'll read it. Oh. Uh, it's something you have to read. Uh, I didn't know what it meant. Well, I'll just give it to you. It's a farewell letter. Oh, oh, excellent. Uh, my darling thing, okay. I don't want to hear, uh, the notes, so. Uh... Oh, there's a disembodied hand. Send oh, to beast. It. One second. Seville needs some fucking source point. Because you made her use it. Oh, disembodied foot. Oh, amazing. Alright. Delicious. Time for snacks. That Nothing literally happened here. Okay, well, she just fucking had a snack. Do these do these guys have source colors? Yeah, they do have source colors. Yeah. Because they're dead sorcerers. Disembodied hand. I mean, it, do, it doesn't Disembodied give anything. Disembodied torso. Eat them anyway. Fuck, fine. Do you have the fucking hand as well? Where is it? I pick it up and I can pick it up. You shift uncomfortably oh. as the wagon traverses a patch of bumpy ground. The Magisters haven't removed your shackles, even though there's nowhere to run. You sigh and gaze outward. The landscape rolls past, empty and still. But then, you see something flying close to the horizon. Several things, in fact. You peer closer. What are those? Birds? Your eyes widen as they draw nearer. Those aren't birds. You turn around to shout a warning, but it's too late. Rip. Where's the That's no moon. It was on the ground, but I... I, I may have already e eaten it, I don't know. I probably already ate it. Alright, I'm going to the cave. Oh. Shit is... going on here. And it, it's loading literally the universe. I can actually see it lo Oh fuck, that's a Looks fucking... Like this is Lohar's place. What's left of it. That is a big guy. Could Morders have survived this? For you! Oh, uh, a bloodied arm. Let's go over there and see what happens. A void tainted leg? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. You are what you eat, There's you know? A void woken on the bridge ahead. But where's it going? That's a very good question. Where is it going? Do we still see it or no? Uh, I guess it just fucked off. I didn't see where it went, though. Went over and to the right, but I don't think we'll run from there. Hey, that's, uh, spirits. Oh, god, ghost. Oh, that's a lot of ghosts. Um, alright. I mean, you can talk to him with beast. Fanatic d dwarf uh, knocks an arrow to a phantom bow. He lets it fly at some towering, invisible horror, visible only in his mind's eye. He reaches for another arrow. Keep firing, damn you! He has to have a weak spot. He has to. Tom, be calm. He's no longer in danger. He's beyond his troubles. The ghostly dwarf ignores you, but the word Mordus forms soundlessly upon his lips. He <coughs> drops his bow and yanks his sword from its sheath. Come on, you filth! Let's see what your insides look like! Follow the spirit's gaze in an effort to see what he saw. There's nothing there. Thanks. You know, there's probably a lot of dwarven things out outside <laughs> as well, because there's corpses there. Yeah, I just think about that. Uh, the trembling of the dwarf dwarven spirit tells you that the halibird in his hands may not be enough to withstand his unseen enemy. He glances behind them, searching for an escape. He drops the halberd and bolts behind some nearby rocks. Divine, save me! I don't want to die, please! I don't want to die! I don't want to die! <laughs> The spirit screams and screams as something unseen tears into him. 
All right, I don't think it matters if you talk to them, so I'm just going to talk a to them. A dwarven spirit cowers on the ground, trapped in the fear of her final moments. It saves me from having to read the first thing. No, no, please! Help! Tell Tell the ghost you're looking for Mortis. She cringes at the name and turns to you, urgent. Mortis. No, not Mortis. With growing horror, she turns her focus on something unseen, looming high above her. No! Nice. All right. Someone just saw the Star Wars prequels. <laughs> now they play Duke 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 forever. What are you talking about? That's what it sounded like to me. Special kind of scream. LP coming Torture soon. Roll. Oh, dude, there's, there's so many bloody things here. One second. Oh, God. You sought escape, but something stalked you. You fled. It followed. You came across a, a pile of bones. In that moment, you knew that this would be your fate. An ancient memory overwhelms you. You are no longer you, but you still sense source saturating the air. More than you have ever felt before. You watch a figure stride through a cavern of amethyst and rose quartz. A man. No light touches this place, yet the stones and minerals illuminate his way. The man approaches a pearl sphere atop a pedestal. He lays his hands upon it and source rushes through his fingers. And you are thrust back into reality. The memory fades, but you still sense the source the man has commanded. As if you had possessed it for yourself. Did I gain anything? I did not gain anything. But I think that may have given me a source point if I, uh, if I didn't have one. You lose yourself oh. in an ancient vision. As the man you saw before touches the pearl orb, you begin to feel yourself be. Various shades of grey swirl across the globe's surface, then part. You are free, joined by seven others, summoned by sacrificial source. The eight of you rush forth as shadows, past the globe, past the man whose body now lies limp on the floor, past the jeweled walls. The vision ends just as you emerge from the cavern. This memory, it feels ancient, a lost place in a lost time. Okay. Well, I guess we'll talk to this person. Her gaze falls on you, a glimmer of awareness. She raises her hand as a greeting, or as a warning. Uh, we're looking for mortals. The spirit takes a deep breath and bellows silently. A distant cry echoes along the cavern. Run! Okay. I, I, as I said, I don't think any of these people have anything interesting to say. <laughs> I mean, you could try talking to them with beasts, but I don't know. Sure, I'll try. Let's see if it's any different. Yeah, all right, well, I got more shit to eat. You turn away from the sunset, only to see that Stanley has dropped to one knee. He holds out a ring to you with a sheepish grin. Your hands fly up to cover your mouth, but too late to prevent a happy gasp of surprise from escaping. You didn't think he had it in him. Oh, okay. You fall into another memory. You emerge from the crystalline caves, past the orange rubble jutting from the ground, and rise above a shimmering lake. Surrounding the lake is a throng of figures, your worshippers, our worshippers. They will deliver your rightful power to you. You will be as gods. The mob drops to its knees as one. The shimmering lake, once placid, begins to boil and bubble, draining source from every supplicant. The past fades into the present. You see through your own eyes once again. The things keep keep talking about like a source lake or something. I have Optical one more. Eyes shut tight, muttering rapid prayers to the seven. All around you is a cacophony of wails, whimpers, and cries for help. You try to shut them out and pray with even more desperate fervor. A loud, inhuman roar suddenly cuts through the cacophony. You cover your ears with your hands and pray on. All right, well, that's it for that. There's a living guy over here. Oh yeah, so there is. And more things to eat. All right, you can talk to this guy. What happened? <laughs> Delicious. I right, go talk to him. The dwarf hunt uh, uh, rocks on her hunches, gnawing at her own bloody ankles. Knuckles. Her wet, uh, fearful eyes flick to you. She lowers her fist just enough to hiss a warning. Away! Away! Too noisy! It'll come back! It'll take me too! Ask her what exactly will take her. She shrinks into the fetal position. He'll come back, he'll come back, he'll come back, he'll come back, and we'll all be eaten alive! Extend a comforting hand. Tell her she's safe. 
for now. Get away from me! You're already dead! You're eaten alive! Eaten alive! Get away from me! She clamps her hands over her ears and shuts her eyes. She rocks back and forth, deaf to your words. Okay. Good stuff. Good, good talk. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack the pile of corpses. Nope, okay. Uh, more snacks for Sibyl. You tried to make a break for it. From Fort Joy to the beach. You didn't make it. You died to the sound of your own echoing screams as the Void Woken gnawed your bones. How does that work? We're not on Fort Joy. The fuck? Okay. You tried to run. Your source collar was heavy around your neck. You slipped on the slick stone, and then they were on you. Dozens of mouths feasting on your still living flesh. Good times. Alright. Decaying blocked by physical armor. <laughs> what? How did she have Don't decaying armor almost? Because when you eat the void tainted arms, oh. they make a cursed blood. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm, I smell a boss fight. What? No. Not in this large area. What is the, what's that? There's a rat there. All right, let me go talk to the rat. Get out before he knows you're here. Get out before he knows you, you're here. That's why he, if, if the rat means Mortis. You think I stopped to get a name? They locked him up, but he got out, and they went crazy. They all went crazy. Run. If you know what's good for you, run. All right. Well, let's go. He uh, thinks we attack the egg cluster or summon the boss. A sorcerer. Still wearing the collar too. Is, is this where for her? the flying void woke? Oh, sh oh shit! What have you done? What have you done? I didn't do shit. All right. Okay. Yeah, let's try and find some high ground for Sabiel. Uh yeah. Um over. There's only yeah, one might place be you your can best go. bet, but not really. Wait, what else can I do? I'll give you some. Fucking hell. Yo, we fucking lost. Maybe we should uh, come back to this when we fucking have a bit more uh, bullshit in our way. I don't know, maybe I should. Maybe, maybe this is the time for reactor shot to shine? Maybe. No, I have high ground advantage right now. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no high ground. Yeah, no. No react no shit like that. Oh god. Oh, frozen. Okay. Hey, do you do you would you like to load? Hang on, they Would you like to load? No, hang on, what the fuck is Beast? He's it, it, the fucking Void Woken ate him. Nice. Would you like to load by chance? Uh, I feel like this is meant to happen. You think that this something's gonna happen when our party wipes? Do we know each other? I feel like, like I feel this is meant to happen. Oh, yeah, you're right. Nice. Where the fuck am I? What happened? Everyone's in different spots. What the fuck? Yeah, they cut. You're right. They just they did just wipe us in one go. Okay, where is? Oh my god. Oh my lord. All right. Well, so we need to start working together. To get together. All right, well, let me look at the map. All right. So we I, you can actually see on the map where everybody is. So. Where is the play? Oh my god, this is- Beast is all the way over there! Can, well, there's Wrecker's Cave Depths. Can we waypoint travel there? No, we can't. But if- I, I- Assumingly, if you have one person that goes there... Looks like Sabiel might be able to get the... So... We may have to stealth, uh, past all these things. What the fuck, dude? Alright, that's pretty insane. I mean, like you were like, yeah, you want to load this? Like, yeah, hey. yeah, no, I, th I, I, okay, sorry, I thought it was like an actual fight or something, but then apparently you clued, clued in pretty quickly that it was uh, meant to happen. 
I, uh, okay, you're, you're smarter than I am, sorry. I'm gonna be sorry about that. You're, you're right, it's a, it was a, a impossible situation, my bad. <laughs> I, I will, I will- Well, I know, you are, you, you are awfully dis- you're, you're predisposed to fucking losing. Yeah. I don't want any of these paintings. Oh, coin purse, sweet. There's shit to steal here. Well, that's locked, so I couldn't even do that if I wanted to. Alright, well, I mean, tell me if anything interesting happens to you. I guess we're gonna just go about our own business here. I'm just gonna try and get to the waypoint. Yeah, that's. I think that should be our goal. There's gold here, man. I need gold. There's so much shit to loot here. That was fucking weird. Like, why would they do this? Oh, a rounded two-handed axe. Nice. That is, uh... For Red Prince, I guess. And 700 gold oh, here. Oh, fuck. What? What'd you do? One of the things came out of nowhere. Oh, that might be a problem. Oh, can, I got can an you idea. Can you run away? What does it do? Actually, what if I just delay? Let's see what happens. Oh, he just fucking kills you. <laughs> but I have a plan. Okay. See you later! What'd you do? Hey man, how's it going? Oh, did you fucking... I teleported for it. I mean, that's actually not a bad idea, actually. We could send that to each other and, and then group up. <laughs> yeah. That's it's actually... not safe to rest here. Okay. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna hold on to my term up here, but do you wanna give yours to Seville? Yeah, I think I will. Alright. I'm just I'm just checking this area here, but I think we wanna to go to all these areas though. Yeah, we wanna to go to all these areas, but not alone, I think. Okay. It's not a bad idea actually. That's you were you certainly thought outside the uh I was thinking about it, I thought, well, let's let's try and see where this goes, and I was like, okay, you know, fuck that. Yeah, I did. I wonder where the others might be. I wonder <laughs> where the others might be. I didn't check this thing yet. Oh, peace of mind scroll? Okay, I'll pick that up for myself. Oh, no, no, you should have that, actually. That's a you thing. I'm the scroll master. Yeah. Unidentified crossbow. That's a pretty good crossbow. That was an incredibly good crossbow. And you will never beat me for initiative now, apparently. There's a wand here and a helmet. I wonder where the others might be. All right, so the wand I'm gonna send to FM, and the helmet is a strength helmet. Gives wits, huntsman, arrow thirds, and necromancer. That's probably for Red Prince, honestly, because he's got necromancy. Yeah, probably. But it is a really good helmet, though. Let's give it to Red Prince. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I he's lose... like some strength right now in summoning. How much stats does it give for everything? Uh, six magic armor, twenty-eight physical. Yeah, uh, this one's a lot more than that, but, yeah, whatever, fine. I I mean, do you want Shackles of Pain? It's a, I, it's a something I had on this guy. Nah. I'll, I'll just give Beast. Well, I mean, well, maybe this is a tank, but nah, nah. Oh, I have a hand here, actually. I mean, it'll be going to me anyway, right? Yeah. One sec. You've seen a tidal wave of panic drown you. You try to crawl away, but claws pin you down. You look up to see a fanged maw lunge at you. All right, so uh, let me go put on this new bow onto this person. Manage runes. Okay. So what is the difference between crossbows and bows now, these days? Just less movement, but more damage, I guess? Yeah, less mobility, but higher damage output. That's kind of odd. Right, where's my... So it was in the other game as well. No, that one gave you more crit multiplier, though, as well. Okay, well, now I have a, I have a little bit more damage now, I would say. Alright, let's give it a good save of Rooney. Alright, so there, I know there's one Void Orkin right here. Oh, there is a... Wait, why, why did everything turn red? There's vo Vampiric Void Orkin now. The fuck? Okay, maybe maybe the play wasn't to be where I am. <laughs> well, let's just accept that this is a fight now. Okay. I mean, I can hit him with uh, Seville pretty good. 
What was that? <laughs> you turned into a Why bush. am I a bush? Okay, I'm gonna hit him then. Alright, there is there are some eggs around. Oh god, the eggs are a part of the combat too. The, the eggs are apparently not our friends. Are you still fucking casting shit? Yeah. You stop that right now and get into combat. You want haste on Sabeel? Yeah, sure. That's how I get in combat. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Alright. Oh, good. He has wings, too. Oh. Corpse explosion. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm not even mad. I mean, we could technically... Oh, we can't waypoint out of this place. Or no, no, we, we're in combat, that's why. We can technically waypoint out of here if it's bad, though. So we do have options. I just made a little bunch of cursed blood. I feel bad now. Oh, good. What, oh, in what the, the fuck? fuck? What are we doing what? right now? I don't even know. Alright, I'm gonna- I'm thinking first order of business. I don't like Less? the fact that these eggs get a turn. I'm thinking bless this- bless this blood. I'm ready. Alright. What'd yeah, you that's electrified blood, so we're not gonna get decayed. Or what the fuck? What the fuck just happened? So I'm still decayed, so I can't do anything like that. So I need to do. I guess I will. Fuck, we're gonna do. Totem. Totem over there. If you can bless the blood again, it'll probably no, it'll heal us. It's bad. I I don't know, man. <laughs> um, hang on. You're shocked. You're not stunned. You're cursed, though. Hmm. That makes me. I'll still heal you. Yeah. Because you're not decaying. So we need to blow up some bitches right now. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I mean, I can bless it, but I don't think it does anything. I think the blessing will probably maybe damage beast, but oh well. No, let's just avoid that then. Well, it's being cursed again, so fuck. Don't worry about it, I'll have beast do some men armor. Alright, well, let's do some whirlwind action. Miss. Yeah, because you're cursed. Good times. So, okay. I think I should step there again, my central thing. Well, I, I get the feeling that maybe we were supposed to do this a little bit later. I don't know why. It's just level 11 stuff. Or level 10, it's fine. I mean, that's what I've been saying to myself too, but... Like, one level can't make that much of a difference, can it? I mean, then we've been getting a bunch of crazy gear that's just way better than everything we possibly other uh, have otherwise. Alright, let's um... Why does Barrage have no cooldown? so weird. Like, I just... It says three turns, but I've, I've been able to use it like every single time. This game's weird. It is weird. <laughs> I have mending. Oh, you gave me mending. I see. Yeah. Because right now we need that to not get killed by the... the oh, I didn't, I didn't finish him off? Oh. I'll finish him off. Okay. Mr. Trump hitting him. Alright. Who we jump on next? I uh, I think the other small one? I'm not sure. I could have ricocheted. Question is, it, but we... I, thought, I thought I would be able to ricochet later. Ah fuck it, whatever. Okay, no, I should do this one ability. Get some healing on my Kana. So what is fucking lightning all this fucking blood bullshit? What the fuck is cursed electrified surface? Blood surface. 
he peeps it out. Oh, yeah. Ow! Okay, I'm gonna use, um, healing ritual. Fuck you, bitch. Oh. No one is decaying, because this is the best time for it. Okay. Okay, who needs it the most? Red Prince, I guess. Yep, kinda. Although I can't target the Red Prince, so I'm gonna have to target someone else. So go to Sibyl next, I guess? Uh, I mean, if you want to, sure. I'm not sure how this works, but let's find out. Hey, you uh. got Red Prince anyway. Yeah, he did. So what is that? Does it cost a source point or something? No, it's just um, it costs it costs twice as much as restoration to cast because uh -huh. it's a bigger thing, but it heals a lot more. Okay. But it doesn't do any healing over time. Okay, so what can I do now? I can totem or I can teleport. I haven't teleport really matters though. Maybe I could try teleporting. No, I can't see him. Never mind. Okay, I'll just totem. Be damn it's an electric totem. <laughs> Zap. Well, it's killing the eggs or whatever. Uh, critical oh, hit. <laughs> oh, good times. You just critting on me all the fucking time. Like you void woken piece of shit. That didn't bounce the egg. Fuck. Rip. Wait, do I not have any resurrection scrolls on beast? I guess I don't. I was gonna use one, but I don't have any. Fucking lost. Yeah, well. Did you put it in, like, one of the bags or something? No. Oh. 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 Uh, They're only ranks. shitty ones. They're not, not that good. Still. Okay, <laughs> I guess they have a lot of health. Yeah, they kinda do. <laughs> oh, goody! Fuck. All right, totally run. All right, fine. Do do we want to maybe go to someone else's thing though? Like someone else's place? Like that mine the mine is pretty fucking awful. We're in like we're literally in the fucking egg lair. So do you want? Can I? You want me to go somewhere like just before you tell we did the teleporter pyramid shit? Sure. Okay, let's do that. I think this is just before. Uh, I think it's just when they ate us. We didn't pick up anything yet. Well, it's uh, certainly something. So we're, we're, we should probably go decide on whose is actually the best one, because that one is like positionally the worst one to go to. I think. <laughs> I mean, I just went because I didn't have much of a choice. I yeah, I, no. I and now that we kind of know that, um, we can change our strategy up with that. Actually, well, let's uh, take it slow. Let's figure out where the best one is, because I think Beast had a pretty good one, and Eve had an okay one. It honestly would have been kind of cool if we didn't have the teleporter pyramids, actually. Like, if the game forced you to, to make it through there to get back to each other, but I guess it's just whatever. They're like... Well, I, I ran to a spot where I couldn't. Like, it was... <laughs> there was a wall in the way. A wall in the way like of a what? wall of eggs. And, like, when I tried to approach it, I spawned that, the void weapon thing. Yeah, this is just before they, uh... Right, okay, it's, like, stuck on saving for some reason. Oh, there we go. So this is when we got taken away, so... Uh, did the loot change in that place? Because that had a really nice crossbow. Okay, so let's, um... Okay, it, did, it, did, it didn't have it. It does have it, sorry. Right, let me send this to FN. This is to FN. So just kind of loot the areas you're immediately in, and then we'll just, we'll just decide on one person's thing to, uh, to use. The hell? What the fuck? Do I have that on? No, I don't. I mean, Beast one looks pretty nice. Yeah. So does the Beals, actually. Let me see where Beast is. Oh, uh, well, he's got some fucking things there. Alright. Peacemaker is here. Where's Beast at? Feel its power. Yeah, I don't like Effins. Well, let me have a look around for your area. Yeah, I mean, there's some high ground there and stuff, too, so that's actually not that bad. We have a place that we can kind of pull back to here, and there's also a scientist there. All right, yeah, we'll go to Beast. Yeah, and a rat and a ghost. All right, then we're going to go there. I'm just going to make sure I... Uh... I'm going to pass my tunnel before I take Beast, then. Okay, I will I will go soon as I... Well, let me, let me, first, let me first teleport a permit out of here. I wonder where the others might be. 
No, I'm with Effin right now. <laughs> I just I just gave it to Beast. Okay. Okay, let me send you my turn. I'll, or you can you can send yours. It doesn't matter. Let me just yeah. um, let me finish looting here. Because there's like coin purses and gold and shit here. I mean, we'll get back there eventually. Yeah. Because yeah, a, a place where there's high ground, like that that one was like the worst one. Because it's like we were like stuck in the fucking corner there. I got a present for you. Uh, we were like stuck in the Thanks. fucking corner. Yeah, no problem. Like we were just like we there was nothing we could do about that. So it just it just happened to be like we we didn't quite think through which, which one to go to with everybody. Uh, oh, a dwarven dagger. It's probably not something you'd want, but whatever. It's a dwarven dagger, and I'm racist, so you should have it. Thanks. No problem. No, I know. I appreciate it. Just because it's dwarven, I oh. think you should have it. Oh. What? I got a new mace for uh, my boy. All right, I'm sending uh, Sabiel the uh, teleporter permit. Where the others might be. Why is why does she say that? Like they're, they're right. Your friends are right there. You dumbass. The hell? Oh oh, I have actual gold. Weird. <laughs> Send that to Effin, I guess. Oh, um, what? hello. Uh, did you get ambushed? Uh, hey, I Mer Merry Christmas, Mike. Oh uh, okay, and a Happy New Year. Alright. One second, I'm just rearranging some stuff and then I'll look at whatever you gave to me. Alright. Let me do this. And what did you give? Oh, Merry Christmas, shit. Mike. Oh, bloody leg, my favorite. Healing. Okay, nothing. Uh, this ship had death fog on it. Manifest said there was death fog. There's what? no death fog here. This is no time for idle chit chat. Oh, apparently we got a the conversation. The thought of death fog gives you pause. A weapon like that should give everyone pause. I've seen this, seen death fog in action. Such horror has no place in this world. I've seen this, I've seen death Fuck. fog in action. Such horror has no place in this world. Bit of a radical weapon, no point in uh, ruling lands over only inhabited by the dead. This scourge, this destroyer of my people should be wiped from the face of the earth. I wouldn't use this garbage against my worst enemies. Some lines ought never to be crossed. Good find. Uh, oh, I see. That's, that's, that's a, that, Arrow, oh, okay. It grants a unique skill. That's actually really good, actually, then. I see what the... I Dude, there was two bows in this place. And they both are do the same amount of damage. One of them gives a shit ton of initiative, though, and blind, and the other one gives arrow spray. But I think we're going to go with the arrow spray one. That uses up a source point, though. But that might be, actually, well. that might be really good, though, still. All right. Wow. Okay, so if I go point blank to someone to use this, I would probably end them. Remember? Yeah. Oh, dude, no, you can tactical... Re tactical retreat right in front of them, I know. Tactical retreat right in front of them and then do the shotgun build. Tactical retreat, man. <laughs> so good. There's no... Right, let me get the fuck down from them. All right, let me go talk to this person here. <laughs> this is why you need wings. All right, let me talk to this person. The dwarven woman hums to herself as she works with total focus and concentration. Her ears twitch as you approach, but she does not turn to you. Probably you should have talked to her, but whatever. Oh, what she have to sell? Oh, she's got grenades. A lot of grenades. Grenades for days. Yes. I'll I'll back away. All right, you go talk to her. Right, beast. I can I can take her stuff that she has right here. She doesn't mind. Good find. <laughs> Lucky find. Maybe. Oh, what's 
some death fog stuff. Some other stuff. Just talking about death fog. Alright. You already read this? Oh, uh, yeah, I did. Yes! What's this, woman? I know a bomb when I see it. Out with it! Yeah, ah, I, I didn't get this. Alohars, are you? you should know better than to stick your clumsy fat fingers in the Queen's secret operations. Beast raises his fists in a rage. You're not sure whether he intends to crush the dwarf or the machine she's tinkering with. Call to Beast, what's he doing? Beast's fists slam down hard onto the device. Shards fly from it in all directions, and a red light flickers on. Looks like you've had some technical difficulties, eh? I know what you look like. I'll report you. Queen Justinia will have vengeance. Might be entering combat. <laughs> now she's talking to me. Uh, yeah, okay. Is that it? Oh, she's talking to you now. Uh, the dwarven uh, woman wings her hands and examines the contraption looks beyond repair. Her ears twitch at your approach, but she does not t turn to you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, looking, looking at the complex contraption in front of her, ask what she's doing here. I was carrying out important scientific work for Queen Justinia at that. But some horrid brute came along and smashed it all. All my progress lost. You can't even imagine what a setback this is. Looking closer, you recognize the device she works on. It is identical to the portal you were given to save the elves, right before the death fog annihilated them. Though I'm not quite sure who you are, or what business you have here. Tell her you had a device just like that once. It's a portal to safety, right? Safety? She laughs. A tinkling sound like glass smashing on a stone floor. Baby, if you consider the Hall of Echoes a place of safety, y you know this is a very specific kind of delivery device, right? Specifically for delivering death fog. <laughs> oh man! So, so the device he had when he deployed the the death fog. Yeah, he deployed the portal, and apparently that's what caused the death fog. Uh, I'm gonna go with the strong. No. Oh yeah, yeah indeed. You remember when it was last used? Her eyes gleam with a truly unpleasant seal. Reflected in them, you see yourself standing there, white-faced, jaw slack with horror. Wiping out the Black Ring with a side order of elves in the last war. <laughs> Don't mess with the Divine Order! <laughs> Your mind races. Could this be true? Could it be you who brought death and destruction to the elves? All those lives. Who would set you up like that? Not Lucian? No. Lucian couldn't. Wouldn't. Oh boy. Oh fuck, Buffy's attempting. <laughs> Can we give you a save or... What would you no, do? No, I think, I feel like... Maintaining composure. Ask oh, okay. what she intends to do with the infernal device. I have orders from Queen Justinia. Can't really say more than that to you. Ah, oh, to be honest... I've reached the end of my tether with what I can do here. So if you want to harass somebody, hang on. Panic. The original creator should arrive here any day now. <laughs> her work is an abomination. Do not suffer her to live. You can save if you want. Alright. That's what Effin would do. Alright. Is there a place I can tax the retreat up to? Not really. Does it matter? Probably not either. By the way, you're just a floating head. Uh, am I? Yeah, of course I am. Because I'm smart. See him. Like your weapon's still there, your helmet's still there, but you're just a floating head. Okay. I can't actually see her from this position, so that's okay. All right, I'm just gonna go over here and. Oh. oh, dude, she's throwing loot. <laughs> That's her loot she's throwing. Not for long. Not suffer. Uh, Kendra and Khan. She does suffer to live. I feel like, what would he find? Do he hates Death Fog. 
I fucking hate death fog. It's like demons. Ah. You have absolutely no armor on Ethan, I just realized. <laughs> yeah, because I'm still wearing like the teleporter gauntlets. <laughs> Those are the best ones. <laughs> Why did you actually just get the skill now? <laughs> I'm trying, I gotta get enough I've got enough fur of third. Uh Believe me, I would have that if I could. Because Sibyl doesn't have a lot either, actually, to be honest. We just haven't found a lot of good stuff for that. Okay, that's not gonna work. Right, let's do this. No, this will work. What? She's gonna have a bad time, alright? Yeah, I reckon isn't really useful here. This is what happens when you mess with Death Fog. Death Fog, not even once. <laughs> can you sprout uh, wings? I mean, I can, but why would I? I'd just do it for a friend. Why? To walk over the thing? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> What's wrong? Beautiful. What? Oh, you have a body, uh, I don't have a body, okay. <laughs> so you know it's a pair of floating wings and a head. <laughs> I wanted to see if it would do that. I'm ready. Oh my, I can see up a skirt, oh my. <laughs> Oh, should, should, should I arrow spray her? Can I, Dad? No, I'm sorry. That's, I must go even further beyond. Uh... Soulmate. Fuck. I'm just charging up my attack, don't worry about it. <laughs> Three episodes later. That's a great vision. Black. Yes, I can see when she's dead. Hey, look at that! I can see when she's dead! Oh, good. A spirit examines her hands, waving them back and forth, seemingly fascinated with the ethereal trail of source that drifts from them. My word, they were right. The mystics and clerics were all right. There is life beyond death. Ask, ask how death compares to life so far. Well, it's nice to know that nothing bad can happen to me now, right? <laughs> right? I wonder how scientists uh, like her can believe in an afterlife. Belief or not, how can I argue with my own existence? The empirical evidence is making me reconsider a lot of my assumptions. What a time to be alive. I mean, Dad, nothing excites me more than being proven wrong. <laughs> Now there's a whole new world of thinking to be done. I just need to figure out a way to jot down the notes from my last project. <laughs> when I can't hold a pen. Alright. Oh. I wonder if I could talk to her. She got grenades. <laughs> what do you have to tell her, possibly? Same as you. Oh, there's more grenades. Oh, there's a metal shield here. Damn. Oh, I'm not cool. And grenades. Ooh. I'm not even going to take any of that. That's a good shield. For you. Nice. Alright, you already got all that stuff. Alright, I mean, all we can really do is progress, so. There is... Oh, the battleship has a slot in it, too. There is eggs down there. So, eggs, eggs, eggs. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. We can waypoint travel out of here if we find this to be too difficult. So, what are you doing right now? So, I'm just looking at, uh, stuff. That's fine. Let's go. Alright. Alright, well, uh, might as well open her up. Locked. I mean, I could just attack I got it. This. Alright, so Beale is just gonna stay up here. Uh, maybe we can just hit the eggs from here, you know? Sure, go for it. It, start, it started a fight, technically. Oh, it just opened up immediately. Alright, um, uh, let's just stay up here. 
you know. I, I don't see a reason to come down there yet. It's safe up here. There's safety. And numbers. Alright, time to do all the buffs. Okay. Necrofire. <laughs> Anything you have that's ranged is good. I mean, I can. I don't think I can hit the thing from here. I mean, it does. You can just wait till Sabiel's turn then. Hey, well, hey you found one. <laughs> hey, 212 damage is not bad, actually. Uh, it's decaying too. I mean, I can enrage Sabiel. I mean, but it's just doing basic damage then. Yeah. Nah, that's okay. Do you wanna? Uh, I mean, you can do it if you want, sure. She's yeah, for giggles. I already, I already used all of my abilities, basically. Oh, clear mind to remove bind rage. Oh. So it did nothing. No, okay, it replaced it. Okay, it didn't Re counter attack. Okay, oh, okay. Uh, oh, that's interesting. It removes that then. Well, you're using clear mind for more crits, really, right? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. No, it's guaranteed crit. <laughs> I don't know what to fucking do with this person. Shackles of pain, not memorized. Fuck, there's like nothing to do here. Enjoy your single shame ping. <laughs> hey, don't do what I do! <laughs> I mean, what can I do? He doesn't have enough range stuff. Yeah, you have a wand attack, so you should be okay. Fuck wand attack. See, that might spawn something, but you know, whatever. So, I guess hey, I- I guess I won't- Where'd my card go? Shit! It died? <laughs> Fuck. No. I thought it would be in the fight when I got in the fight. Wow. Hit. That was one hit. Game's easy. <laughs> Alright. Dude, hit the... look at all this- look at all the dinner for you. Oh, where? T dismembered torso. Okay. Uh, she's gonna stay up here anyways. Or can Why I hit the stuff brave? over there? Actually, I can- I can hit the eggs in the corner there. But, I mean, you can go over there too if you want. Towards the eggs. Let's sure, just go for it. She'll just stay down here. All right, one second. Let's uh, let's do buffs again. I'm gonna buff her. Again. Oh, I just I just noticed Sabiel is bald. I mean, I, I don't know. Is she bald? Bald on my screen? Did you do this? No. Maybe I should fucking reload the save after this. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. The hell? All right. The fight started. Uh. One second. I know how to start this fight. <laughs> Hello. Sure, let's get a water, dude. <laughs> Fucking healing. Big boy. Nice. Think you hot shit? I think he does. I don't, Fuck. I don't even need to participate in this. Yeah, you're right. It's just, uh. Shields up! Red alert! Why, why do you even need shields up? <laughs> you have it's like, it's a, a single dude, who cares? There's, there's some eggs Ghetto. there. X X X. Frozen failed. Fuck, I can't even click him. Yeah, that's the problem I was having. Black. Whatever. Because there's a run egg uh, cluster as well. It's immune to everything. Arg. What the hell? Why, why is there an egg cluster here? Oh. Decaying blocks by physical armor. Oh shit! Oh, hey. Red Prince is coming. Uh. Huh. Oh, what the fuck? Where am I? 
Oh, we're behind. This thing. The fuck? Alright. Should I jump in too? Oh, shit! What? Dude, shinies. One second, I gotta give, uh, Sabeel some snacks. Gotta give her some, you know, something for the road. You feel a tidal wave of panic drown you. You try to crawl away, but claws pin you down. You look up to see a fanged maw lunge at you. Okay. You shut your eyes and try to block out the sensation of giant mandibles nuzzling your flesh. You hear it click clack away. You daren't move. Not after you saw what happened to the last one who tried to run. What do these things want? Okay. So it's down in the water. There's a chest. I got it. He gets across the way though. Yeah, yeah, I see it. So it was in the hole. Huh? What was in what? The it hole? Wasn't the hole. Yeah, go ahead. Go look. Ah. I, mean, I don't know why you'd want that, but I guess it's a way to get past the locked door. I guess the point of it. <laughs> yeah, maybe. What the hell's that? Oh, it's a volatile voidling. Yeah. Oh, saving. One sec. More snacks. More snacks. You run through the caves as fast as you dare in the gloom. The outraged screech of the Void Woken is not far behind. You run straight into something, almost bouncing off of it. A gate. A locked gate. You frantically try to climb over it, but it's too high. Claws envelop you and drag you into the darkness. Okay. Well... I'm going to say there's something past that, but I think I should end the episode here. I, I don't know how much I've gone for, but I think it's long enough, so. Alright, so thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll, we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.